What's up everybody and welcome to Backhand Rehab day number three. So today what we're gonna be talking about is something I call the Gumby throw. Mm. Are you familiar no, with Gumby? Never you uh, never heard yeah, it. I just meant the Gumby throw. Yeah, no, yeah. So I'll show a picture of Gumby if you haven't heard of Gumby. But basically- right here. So basically what I'm looking for, and this is something that I see in a lot of people's form, that is an indication of pulling that happens after you release the disc during your follow through. Go ahead and I guess I have footage to put up here. Well, I'll throw one. Okay, yeah, go, go ahead and no, throw one. Go ahead and throw one. He's just itching to throw that Halo Thunderbird is what's happening. Don't hit that car. So basically, <laughs> yeah, that's a great indicator. So, so you're here, right? Yeah. So think about the box analogy. Let's scoot back over this way so you can be in the middle. So think about that box analogy and how you just finished that throw. So when you finish this throw, you are here, chest 1000% yeah. open to the target. Yeah. So what happens and where we get our power in the disc golf throw is by creating a powerful rotation that stops, think brace, that stops, and then all of that power is transferred into the disc. So having a compact rotation is critical to the power that you're going to get. Now, one thing that I look for is how do people look at the release point and follow through? Are you having a compact rotation that shows me that you're getting all of your body into your throat? If you look at the pros, you watch Paul McBeth, whoever, at the release point, they are as compact as they possibly can be. Now, why is that? Because if you're compact, the more compact you are, the faster you rotate, and that stops your rotation using your brace and allows your arm to catapult, slingshot out from your body. Basically, you're a big anchor from which your arm catapults, right? And so all that energy is transferred into the disc and doesn't leave with your body. Now, say you finish like Lucas, which I call the Gumby throw, it's because you're all loose and everywhere. So say you finish and you're here. That energy isn't all transferred into the disc. You have arms that are dragging, your chest is open. Yeah. So that energy is going here and flailing this way. That rotation's being slowed because your right arm, your off arm, isn't coming along compact. So what we're looking for is a compact center of gravity that is over the middle of your body around which you can throw and rotate the disc. So one thing to look for in your footage is that if you come to release, your release is way out front and your chest is wide open. This means that some of that energy that you've spent all this time creating in your box drill here, your clothes off and your hip firing, all of that energy, when your chest spreads like this, it's being released that tension is just giving up, releasing, and it's not entering the disc. So what you wanna look for and try to do when you're looking at your footage, think backwards, how can I be as compact and centered as possible so that when I finish my throw, I look like a tiny little spinning knob with one arm out of it. So when bam, we're here, I am all over the center of my body and the arm is the only thing that gets that rotational energy and the forward energy that is stopped when I brace with my foot. So if you look like Gumby at the end of your throw and your body parts are flailing everywhere like this, probably a good indication that you're not using your body to power your throw and that you're only using your arm. So try to keep yourself as compact and centered as possible and you'll have a lot more fun playing disc golf. I already have fun beating you. <laughs> is I'll show you an example of a pro right here or maybe I can, oh, the camera's facing the wrong way. Should I try and throw lefty? Yeah, throw lefty. This is so counterproductive. So what's gonna happen is when I, oh gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Dear Lord. Gee, dude, that was actually. Not bad, right? 